Hello, everyone. My name is Gaston Krug from Markman Advisors. I'm here with this week's Markman Minute, where we take a look at the uh, interesting stories at the intersection of patent litigation and investing. Uh, you could check out all our content at mimesiswebtv.com under the Intellectual Property tab. Uh, feel free to check out our weekly newsletter, The Markman Note, which looks at the prior week's uh, investor interesting events for in the patent litigation world. And um, obviously, we, we put out this uh, Markman Minute to talk about the big stories on a weekly basis as well. So for this week's uh, edition, I wanted to talk to everyone about what we think is a very interesting situation involving one of the biggest blockbuster drugs on the market right now. Um, and, and, that's a, and that's a drug that's actually put out by a company called Biogen. And the drug is a multiple sclerosis treatment uh, called Tecfidera. Now, what makes Tecfidera obviously interesting to investors is the fact that it's generating tremendous amounts of revenue for Biogen in the billions of dollars. Um, and uh, not surprisingly, that has made Biogen a target for people that want a piece of that revenue. So one, on the one hand, uh, Kyle Bass, who's a person we've talked about in the past as filing patent challenges in, or IPRs in the patent office, attacking pharmaceutical companies that he believes are protecting their revenues with weak patents. He's targeted Tecfidera and, and Biogen. He's filed two IPRs against uh, Biogen patents that cover Tecfidera revenues, including an IPR on a critical patent for Biogen, the, what we'll call the 514 patent. The 514 patent is very important because it, it's the patent that has the latest expiration date, meaning it is protecting potentially um, the longest period of time of exclusivity for Biogen. So the expiration date of the, of the 514 patent goes out to 2028. And the next to expire patent for Biogen, uh, you know, expires a good eight years earlier, if not more. So you're looking at almost eight years of exclusivity on a multi-billion dollar drug that this patent is, you know, propping up as of today. Uh, so, on the one hand, you have Bass going after the 514 patent, but there's another company out there uh, called Forward Pharmaceuticals, or the stock ticker is FWP. And this is a company that was taken public in 2014 for the express purpose of commercializing technologies uh, related to treatment for mul multiple sclerosis and other, um, and other products uh, and other diseases, actually, for patients, uh, very similar to what Tecfidera is doing. And in fact, Forward Pharma has initiated uh, a claim in the patent office in a separate type of proceeding called an interference where they actually claim and have gotten the patent office to declare preliminarily that they actually are the true inventors of the subject matter of the 514 patent. So an interference, unlike an IPR, uh, is really a question of who invented it first and which company can prove that they invented it first. And what makes the Forward Pharma story interesting for investors is that the Patent Office has preliminary declared that they have a three-year head start on Biogen in terms of inventing the subject matter of the 514 patent. So as the interference plays out over the next year or two, there's a chance that Forward Pharma could actually become the owner of the 514 patent and thereby go to Biogen and ask for royalties on Tecfidera sales to be, for Biogen in order for Biogen to be able to continue selling the drug. So in effect, Biogen has an asset that Forward Pharma is trying to get their hands on. What complicates matters and what we think creates a risky situation for forward investors is that the very asset that Forward is trying to get, Bass has chosen to attack. And he's chosen to attack it through an IPR process that has proven very effective at killing assets like the 514 patent, generally. So if you think about it from the perspective of a forward investor at this point, yes, on the one hand, things are going well in terms of being able to potentially get royalties from Biogen on the 514 patent. But unfortunately, you now have to account for and keep your eye on the Bass IPR on the very asset that you're trying to get as a company, the 514 patent. Now, this is all going to shake out. We don't know how uh, the different companies can respond. Um, there's a lot of interesting legal angles that could happen in terms of which proceeding does the patent office go with first? Does it you know, uh, go with the interference and put the IPR on hold? Does it advance with the IPR and, and put the interference on hold? Does it do both of them in parallel? 
Uh, but the point that we think is very salient for investors at this point is that if you're invested in forward pharma, you need to be keeping your eye on this bass challenge against the 514 patent. Uh, the analogy that we that we've been made, we've been discussing internally is, you know, you're interested in buying a house, and then you find out that the ha the house is actually on top of a volcano. You don't know if the if the volcano is going to blow up, but this IPR has the potential to blow up the very asset that Forward Pharma is trying to get and banking a lot of its potential future revenue on. That's it for this week's uh, Markman Minute. Again, check out our content at mimesiswebtv.com. I'm Gasson Krub. See you next time.